Welcome back, it's Gishon Gaming. We're being attacked by Ukraine. Things are awful. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, so pretty much let me explain what happened here quickly. I'm going to be dividing these into two parts. So this was taped yesterday morning, I mean, yesterday night um, for when you guys see this. And then I'm going to show you a part from either the day you're watching, morning or evening, depending. So pretty much I set some things over here off over here. Um, yeah, so he sent down two combat recons over here, two from here, joint, some, joint them together, and for whatever reason was attacking down here, which was weird, I found weird, because you can't take land with combat recons if you don't know, and then he sent three infiltrary all the way down here to take my city, so I'm guessing he was just using that as like, I don't know, like a buffer or something to see if I... Uh, had anything for whatever reason so yeah that's pretty much what happened and thank goodness I had an infiltrary officer and everything with me um, that that I just mobilized so now he's attacking these combat recon vehicles um, those infiltrary have taken my city and gone out here because he saw that I had infiltrary heading to one of his supply cities and yeah he I also don't have an air superiority no more um, it died. Um, I, now he's sending uh, air superiority over here to to attack me. I'm thinking of moving my things slightly off my capital, but he'll probably be able to see that anyways. But yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, I'm also sending some a uh, combat recon with two infiltrary over here, and I'm sending one infiltrary from all the way over here. That I took a, a city from Syria all the way up, all the way over here to take. A city from what used to be I forget the city uh, country's name actually but yeah so we're gonna that he's taken over also so I'm just gonna try to distract him with a bunch of things at once so yeah oh it looks like he's going down he's not heading for anything so I'm guess he's just gonna let me take those so he's just gonna head his way down over here I'm guessing um, so yeah so I'm gonna try to join these together. I may just sacrifice this at this point. I have another infiltrary I'm building. So I think I'm just gonna do that. Cause it's not gonna automatically group together, which I find annoying, and it'll probably get taken out very quickly, but it'll be he'll have to fight both things at once, so I'm hoping this will work. Tell me if that doesn't work, um, down below. Um, so I'm hope hopefully we will be able to defeat him. He's in a coalition with these people, the Congo, Mozambique, and Africa, and then he's with people in Europe, which is Sweden and Belarus. Even if I do take over Ukraine, I'm hoping Belarus doesn't get involved. I'm hoping my other um, coalitions see my cry for help that I sent in the messages. I'm um, saying, help <laughs> anyone there. Algeria, I think that's right. Um, I'm probably saying it wrong. I'll learn it for next time. I promise. Um, I don't want to be too dis. I don't want to be disrespectful. So we're going to be um, pretty much trying to rely on our coalition members for um, support because I don't know if Belarus is going to counterattack. I really hope not. So Algeria ha doesn't have anything really. Um, he hasn't built anything in Morocco, so he's probably going to take him over. Italy doesn't have anything really. He hasn't built anything, which is just really sad. Um, and he's being attacked by Poland, which has built a lot of things and has built up, up his infrastructure as I would have if Ukraine didn't attack me. So I'm hoping we can win against Ukraine and then we can take out these infiltrary. I don't know if that's going to be possible. And yeah, we're going to go through this way and then that way pretty much. So hopefully we can take that one city, go up here, stop him, and then if that doesn't work, I'll send my troops out. We'll probably be badly damaged by these three stupid recon uh, vehicles and go all the way over here and finish him off. Hopefully those are all the troops he has. He doesn't have any sort of arms industries. He only has army bases, and he's a level 22 player, which I found weird. So hopefully... Um, he doesn't have much more. So that's it. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh wait, before I do that, I'm building two tanks. I was hoping that he wouldn't attack me until the fifth day because I actually had three tanks before and then all of a sudden um, he attacked one of my cities that had a tank. 
So hopefully um, nothing else bad happens. Hopefully Serbia doesn't attack me. I've tried to say, can we get him in my coalition? But, you know, um, so I was really hoping he would have held out for the fifth day. So we have two main battle tanks on the way and I'm building a level three Navy base and an air base because I'm going to try to get my I'm going to try to build two after this tank is finished. I'm going to try to build two air superiority again. And also, by the way, I'm building a submarine because I thought it was just the best all the way around to go. I don't want anything too offensive. I just want something really defensive that can take down things very quickly. So I'm just going to use a submarine for now. I, d I heard some people say frigates and stuff, but I just wanted something that could be on par with a destroyer, if possible, just in case. And yes, sum submarine stats are slightly higher than a destroyer. So hopefully that will uh, guard my seas for now. I don't think anyone's going to be attack attacking me like that. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can take back um, our city and take uh, the entirety of Ukraine. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. I'll see you soon. And hopefully my coalitions uh, will members will see my response for help. I tried telling them to get Serbia in the coalition as well. So I'll see you um, whenever I record this tomorrow and when it will be uploaded as well. So yeah, on uh, transition. Hey guys, not really the next day. I know I said I was gonna update next day, but nothing really happened. All I did was build a tank, but we did win that one fight over here. So now we're gonna go over here and take this city. We did get Serbia into the coalition. I begged and pleaded, and they let him in, finally. Um, Italy's at war with Poland, and France not helping with that. Um, he didn't help me, and yeah, I think he's going to get crushed. Um, but yeah, we're going to pretty much try to take this city back. We won the fight with uh, Ukraine and his stack of troops over here. Um, he did. Uh, Serbia did go up to his capital, which I think got rid of his infiltrate that he had. And now I'm going over here. I did wait, decide to wait instead of going right for this city and join my tank together with it because I wanted to reinforce this stack of troops, or A troops as I have them, apparently. Um, just couldn't really think of a creative name at the time. Tell me something to call my infiltrate officers that's appropriate. Um, so yeah, pretty much Ukraine is still in a coalition with Sweden, Belarus, and uh, two other African nations at the moment. But I would pull up the listing, but there's inappropriate things there. Don't want to, you know, bother with that. Um, which you usually don't see in this game. It's a lot worse than other games like Call of War, but you usually don't see them in, um, you know, Conflict of Nations World War III. So hopefully that, hopefully that will be resolved. Hopefully. I don't like when they put inappropriate names, but that's besides the point. Um, pretty much, um, my tactic did work here. I actually got farther along than I thought with my one troop that was damaged. So, I guess he finally got rid of them once, um, I tried to go for the city. I'm gonna try that again and just go directly for a city. Try to overwhelm them, like I said. Um, I didn't think I would have to be bordering with Russia, because I think we're going, I think we're gonna take Ukraine at this point. And it's kind of annoying because now I'm going to be bordering with big Russia and that's going to be super annoying, especially if Russia sees like he wants to expand. Um, he does seem, yeah, he's fairly active. That's annoying. And it looks like he's building tanks too because why else would you have level 2 army bases? And now I'm slightly behind because of Ukraine attacking me, which is just overall an annoying situation to be in. But hopefully we can recover. The only reason I think I'm not going to be as bad is because... Um, he did take the city, right? And obviously that we took back now, obviously. But I had two other supply cities. And they give you little, very little supplies because they're not um, annexed. But um, having a bunch of little cities, um, supply cities, um, that aren't annexed is enough to make kind of make up for losing one actual homeland supply city. Plus I had another one. But, um, yeah, we're going to be building two more tanks, one that's almost finished, one that's going to be finished a little bit later on, building another, um, army, uh, another, another level two army base because we need to do that. I have, I have submarines that I'm building, just want to, def uh, 
defend myself from anyone like making any navy evasions to my homeland cities, but it seems like we're gonna be bordering right next to Russia super soon. I think we're all of us here that are bordering Russia are in big coalitions, so maybe that will kinda you know thing. I'm not too sure he's on a coalition, don't want to check, because what I said before, Turkey has come back to life and taken back Istanbul, and pretty much has defeated Greece um, in this area. I don't know what Greece and Italy are doing, I was about to click the coalition list, never mind, um, but um, that's pretty much it. Italy hasn't been doing anything, he's attacking Poland and France, don't know if I already said that, not joining in on that one, I'm really annoyed. I'm pretty much only in the coalition for Serbia because he's been actually helping me. He hasn't built any arms industries. Don't oh he's built one, but oh he has a couple, I guess. Okay, he's not too dumb, I guess. He still has a couple. It's like these guys have. Oh uh, wow, they're they just started building those. Um, Italy has none of what I know of. Oh my goodness, they're just here making me look stupid. But um yes, apparently he has. But usually he before he wasn't. I swear um but pretty much we've been doing pretty good like I said we're building new tanks um another submarine building two more arms industries and two more army and uh, one more army base and one more arms industry um to just help with component issues I'm running out of components and once our supply gets back up and running again after doing well I have to start rebuilding things over here obviously um, let me just do that for now, so I have an extra slot back, um, that's annoying, but I think we're gonna win against Ukraine, that was quite a struggle, we we're very lucky, I think, that I had the infiltrary officer, I don't think it would have had, went as well if I didn't have my infiltrary officer, infiltrary officer is always great to go to right, um, at the beginning of the game, um, yeah, so, guys, don't, f uh, forget to like and subscribe don't forget to check out my discord don't if i don't know if i already said that link in the description i know i wasn't active this time because i had a lot of things i had to do but i'll be more active this is on saturday i'll be active all sunday on there so please actually message me then because you know i'll be a lot more active there should be a little bit more active people i saw a couple of people chatting in there so hopefully um, I'll see you on Monday. That's when the next upload will be because I'm not uploading on Saturday. I'm doing it every other day and I promise to stick to that for now on. Not every other two days. It'll be every other day. So Monday, um, and then Wednesday will be the next two upload dates. So you don't want to miss it because you never know things may change. So you don't want to forget um, to subscribe so subscribe hit that like button share this video with people that you know that like war strategy games that's pretty much it i'm out